it's 12 midnight. Wow, it's 11 minutes after 12. And I just got done this book. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> it's about when hit, it has to do with Hitler and the war. And a girl named Anika and her dad was the groundskeeper for a rich couple. Anyways, it will so pull you in. It's back in the war time, and it's 80 years later. It goes back and forth between the past and Callie, who gets a hold of a book that Anika had once upon a time, and Anika had written notes in the book. I'm talking about there's people sleeping. <laughs> And I'll try to do a better video if I can, if I get a chance to. It's just very moving, very touching, very sad. Mm, it's just everything they went through. And uh, Callie does, but she doesn't find the owner of the book and the person who wrote in the book. That's all I can say. She finds her alive, but she finds her dead, passed away. And uh, anyways, this is very moving. He just made me cry a few times. I now have a Draco here. See, he's back. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> it's gonna rub against it. I just want it to pet me. Will it pet me? Oh, will it pet me? Hey. Mm. Yes, my closet door is open. You can see inside my messy closet. Well, it's not my fault. I don't have enough space. <laughs> it wouldn't be messy if it was bigger and I could had room to, you know hang everything where I need to hang stuff. Isn't that right, Draco? Yes. You tell him if she just had the space to hang up all her stuff, then there wouldn't be a problem. I could have my door closed, though. I do close my doors, but you know, I just have to open them. Okay. <sighs> that was a hard book to read. Hidden Among the Stars. Draco's pushing on my hand, something horrible. I'm trying to hold the book, and all he's doing is pushing on my hand. Ah, oh, the terrible things that the deaths that occurred uh, when Hitler was around. The sadness, the family split up, the babies taken, the. Thousands of people that died in work camps and, and uh, children taken from families, babies, families split up, husbands killed, mothers killed, children killed, baby killed. But I mean, the story is a good story about the people. He's taking a fit. Look at this. Watch. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? How come you're not petting me? How come, how come you're not petting me? <laughs> He's looking at me. Anyways, uh, Anika lives in a, the cottage with her dad. And she, of course, is in love with the son of the rich family. They take care of the grand house for her. That, of course, when the war comes, Hitler walks in, everything changes. And the son, Max, is taking jewelry and other items from the Jews. And he's not taking them. The Jews are people that he knows are giving them to him, and he's hiding them. He's burying them in the woods behind his parents' mansion and uh, in hopes that one day after the war he can return all the stuff for him which was 
very nice thought. Of course, you know, they go after him and they find out what he's doing. And of course, the Gestapo and everybody is there. And, and he falls in love with a Jewish girl and he tries to hide her away. And, and one of the guys in the book ends up raping her and she gets pregnant. But, uh, anyways, it jumps to the future. It jumps to 80 years later. And Anika used one of her storybooks to write down, like, the candles, silver candle holders. And then she put the initials of the people who gave the silver candle holders to Max for him to bury. And she made this list. And she put it into a children's storybook, a Bambi. And this storybook, 80 years later, ends up in Callie's hands. And then you have the whole story of Callie and, and her friends and her life and what's going on in her life. And, uh, and with the bookstore. And then she gets a hold of this book and she, she does have a friend who doesn't know who her parents are. And then she starts to wonder if this Anika from the past is her mom once she gets a hold of this book. So anyways, there's of course more to it. There's more characters and more people in it, but uh, she goes on a trip, an adventure, to find out if she can find out who this lady is and if she's still alive and what the background is. And of course it's heartbreaking because it was all during the war time when a lot of deaths and families were ripped apart and people were killed and so but it's just so it's so touching <laughs> it's a really good book it's one of those books that's so good and you just almost wish you didn't read it because it's so heartbreaking it stays with you <clears throat> anyways I have a Drake Boda pet yes he's now laying on me 